There's no mystery around why so many workers prefer remote work. Remote jobs not only give you control over your working environment, they also save you money on transportation costs and let you spend more time on things you enjoy. There are plenty of remote job opportunities out there. Let's break down the best remote gigs that you can land even if you have little to no professional experience. So before we go over the types of remote jobs you can do, let's talk about how exactly you can get a paid remote job with no prior work experience. The key when it comes to landing a remote job with no experience is to have a strong portfolio. You need to convince clients that despite your relatively thin resume, you're still more than capable of doing the work they require. Think about whether you have any personal projects you can show off. Even though those aren't real paid work, you can still mention them in your resume and create a portfolio out of them to demonstrate your skills. Paid work experience isn't a must when it comes to landing a remote job, but a portfolio is. Be sure to only include your best work. Aim for a quality over quantity approach. Once you've landed a few jobs, you can add those projects to your portfolio as well and start referencing them when you apply to any of the remote gigs on our list. The first remote job on our list is data entry. Data entry is a great entry level remote job if you're a detail oriented person and have good keyboarding skills. Your main responsibility will be to transfer information, often taken from a printed document, order form, or spreadsheet, and entered into another source in an organized manner. In many cases, you'll be able to work flexible hours, allowing you to schedule your work around your life rather than the other way around. You generally don't need a college degree or any previous work experience to qualify for a data entry job, but you may need to take a data entry or typing test. You'll also need basic proficiency with software such as Microsoft Office and Microsoft Excel. Data entry clerks usually earn around $20 per hour, and you can find gigs on platforms like Upwork, Freelancer, and Fiverr. Transcription is another great entry-level remote gig. As a transcriptionist, you'll be creating written texts from audio files, videos, or live speeches. This is another job that requires you to type quickly and accurately, and you'll need to have good spelling and grammar as well as the ability to concentrate for long periods of time. You should be able to sustain a typing speed of at least 40 words per minute. The faster you can type, the more successful you'll be. While some transcriptionists are paid a monthly salary or per hour worked, many are paid per audio hour or even per audio minute, and the average pay rates typically come out to $20 an hour. In this digital age, more and more tutoring jobs have moved online. As long as you have a computer with a camera, a headset with a microphone, a stable internet connection, and a quiet space with good lighting, you can teach wherever you like. One of the easiest and most common routes to becoming a tutor is to find jobs on credible online tutoring platforms like Tutor.com or Schooly. You don't usually need a teaching certificate or degree to do this job. You also don't necessarily need previous experience, but you you should be good at interacting with students and explaining ideas in a clear and concise way. And with average pay rates between $10 and $26 an hour, it's easy to see why it's an attractive remote job. Similarly, teaching English as a second language is great for anyone who's interested in a remote job in education. Almost anyone who's a native English speaker can become an ESL teacher. However, it's important to have a well-equipped home teaching setup to ensure your classes go smoothly. At minimum, you'll need a laptop, webcam, headphones, and a stable internet connection. If your students live in a foreign country, you may have to teach classes early in the morning or late at night due to your time zone differences. That said, you can often create your own schedule and plan your own classes. And online English teachers usually earn around $25 per hour. Most platforms will require you to speak English at a native level. If you aren't native, you'll certainly have to be fluent. Many will also require you to hold a teaching English as a foreign language, or TEFL, certification, or a certification in English language teaching to adults, known as a CELTA. There are many remote positions for editors, whether you're looking for part-time, full-time, or freelance work. As an editor, your job will be to review and revise content for publications, such as articles or books. You'll often work closely with the author and provide feedback to them on how to refine their work. While some editors work on many different types of material, others focus on particular topics such as science, finance, or technology. Average pay rates for remote editors are between $20 and $40 per hour with specialized topics earning in the higher end of that. You'll probably need at least a bachelor's degree to land a full-time remote editing job. However, if you just want to work as a freelancer, your portfolio will be more important than your qualifications. Proofreaders are usually people with a knack for spotting grammatical or spelling errors. They work on pieces of writing 
after they've been edited and are nearly ready for publication, making smaller changes than editors usually do, and they can usually earn up to $45 an hour on average. Anyone with requisite skills and attention to detail can get paid for proofreading. That said, you might have an easier time landing jobs if you have a few formal qualifications under your belt. Look into these and see if any seem worthwhile. Managerial jobs are some of the more highly paid remote jobs. Being a project manager is no exception, although you'll have more responsibility on your shoulders than with some of the other gigs on this list. Social media managers can earn around $30 to $50 per hour and are often entirely remote. As a social media manager, you'll work with a marketing team to help their company establish a strong online presence. Day-to-day -day responsibilities include analyzing data, doing competitor research, creating marketing campaigns, scheduling social media posts, and monitoring social media accounts. There are dozens of websites that advertise remote jobs in the niches we've listed in this video. Try searching for freelance jobs on sites like Upwork, Freelancer, and Fiverr. You can also find traditional remote gigs on job hunting sites like Indeed or FlexJobs, which is a job board that's specifically dedicated to remote and flexible work. Don't forget, for more info on any of the jobs mentioned or for even more remote gig ideas we didn't talk about here, you can check us out on SideHustles.com. Links are in the description below. And with that, I'm Cece. See you later.